There's five big questions a lot of people have about Venice, Florida, and I'm gonna answer those for you. I'm getting started right now. So to make this a nice tidy list of five questions, I took two questions and combined them. And those two questions are, is Venice, Florida nice? And is Venice, Florida worth visiting? Yes and yes, absolutely yes. Venice, Florida is very nice, very clean, very well kept. There's, well, I was almost gonna say something that's gonna spoil another question later, so I'm not gonna say that. But I will say this, the people here are super friendly. The people here take care of the city, like the county and city employees, like they take great care of the city like the public restrooms in the downtown. Like I literally go out of my way to bring up in multiple videos, they're actually clean. Wow, that's refreshing. Like you just don't see that in a lot of cities. You don't see a lot of trash laying around. The roads are well maintained, the sidewalks. If you go to the downtown, the whole area is super beautiful. So yes, it is very nice and it is definitely worth visiting because of, well, one, that historic downtown, Two are amazing beaches. You can find prehistoric shark's teeth, lots of seashells. You can go swimming, of course, snorkeling, all the you know water stuff, boating, you name it. Build a sand castle. There's a million things you can do on the beach, and that's really great. And then on top of that, we have things like dog beaches where you can have your dog off the leash. We have a fishing pier where you can fish without a license for free. We have a tiki bar slash restaurant called Sharky's and an upscale place just upstairs from that called Finn's right by that fishing pier where you can get tropical drinks and food and enjoy the sunshine. You can watch sunsets on the water. We have a jetty, which is basically like this, kind of like a pier that goes out into the water, but it's more like even with that water level. And you can see dolphins swimming there quite frequently. You can see manatees on occasion. So yes, it's definitely worth visiting. And then on top of that, all the stuff that is in the downtown, lots of boutique shops, beach themed sort of things in there, all the different restaurants. But yeah, there's a ton to do. It's definitely worth visiting and great for multiple vacations for that matter and great to live in, which comes to the next question. Is Venice, Florida a good place to retire? And I can say resoundingly, absolutely, definitely, yes, of course it is. We're known as being like, okay, so I guess there's this joke that people say like, yeah, my parents, they went down to Sarasota to retire and, they, and my grandparents live in Venice. So basically Venice has kind of gained a reputation over the years as being a retiree centric city. That being said, there are a few more families and things like that moving to the area. As you can see, I'm a younger gentleman. I'm 42 at the time of filming this and I live here. I'm not quite to that retirement age, but yes, it's a great place to retire. You see a lot of snowbirds and retirees uh, here, especially during the winter months. And I think a lot of that is just because it's a very walkable area, especially in the downtown and on Venice Island, which we'll talk about in a little bit. But yeah, a great place for retirees. Lots of things to do for retirees. Lots of, you know, shuffle puck, tennis, pickleball, uh, croquet. Obviously all the stuff that I mentioned with the beach and the water, the shopping, the restaurants, like all that stuff makes it very ideal for retirees. And of course, you know, we're in Florida, Southwest Florida, where the weather is amazing in the winters. So it doesn't get much better than that. But on top of that, I'm not done yet. It is a safe, safe city, which is what the next question actually was. Is Venice safe? Super safe. So obviously you bring a lot of retirees to an area. Most retirees are probably past, you know, their rambunctious age where they maybe want to get out and do something crazy or, you know, they've kind of got life figured out and they take care of the city, right? Like I said before, the city's nice and that's part of why. And I almost spoil that. There's a lot of retirees here and that also tends to make this city very safe. It's a lot of retirees and a lot of families. So because of that, the, the city is extremely safe. You can literally walk around downtown, you know, and even on dimly lit streets and things like that, or, you know, streets with street lights, with all the street lights, and you can overall feel pretty safe through, I'd say the vast majority of the city. That's not to say there's not any pockets that maybe are not super, you know, 100% safe. I mean, things happen everywhere, but I don't think it's going to get much safer than Venice in just about anywhere in America. And I really don't think that's an exaggeration. Now, you know, maybe there's a, like, you know, other places that are comparable or maybe a little safer, but again, I'd say we're on that top tier. So yeah, we're really, really, really safe. Next question, is Venice, Florida an island? Kind of. It's hard one to answer because a lot of people think of Venice, they think of Venice Island, which is a part of Venice. But even that is a kind of, because it's not a, a like a natural island. It was basically was part of the land and they carved out a canal or the intracoastal waterway is what it's called. And that made it an island. So if this chunk of land's here, they literally went like this. And now this little chunk here became an island. That's what's Venice Island. Now, a lot of people, when they think of Venice, that is the area they think of. That being said, you will have a Venice address living outside of that. And a lot of those areas, again, are safe, are great for retirees families, 
they're worth, they're worth visiting, there's things to do, there's great parks throughout the area, you know, all that. But yeah, Venice is kind of an island and Venice Island is amazing. That's where the downtown is, the jetty, the beaches, pretty much all the stuff I mentioned earlier that's really fun and great to do. A vast majority of that is gonna be on the island. Okay, so now the next big question, and it kind of ties in really well with all the other ones because all the other ones are basically talking about how great it is, you know, basically it's Paradise, it's Pleasantville, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's tropical Pleasantville because you got your beaches, right? Is it expensive to live? Well, first of all, I want to let you know my wife, Haiti, is a realtor here. So if you are looking to buy or sell a home in the area, she's in all the other videos on the channel for the most part. Call, text, or email her. Phone number is 941-221-1897. You can call or text at any time. We can do all the time and we love it. But is it expensive? Well, that's gonna depend. It's relative on to what you're used to, to where you're coming from. If you're coming from New York City or a lot of cities in California, you can be like, no, that's not that bad at all. Actually, it's probably I get a lot more house for my money in Venice. But maybe if you're coming from a small town in the Midwest, you might have a little bit of sticker shock. It just depends, you know, every place is different. So that being said, if you ha wanna have a better idea of like what the cost of a home is, check out this video and this video right here. In this one, we talk about basically how much it costs us to live in Venice. And in this video, you, we walk you through three different homes so you can get a sense for what a home costs and what they will look like for that cost. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button, subscribe and turn on all notifications and live breathe.